Hello everyone, here is the final outcome of today's video. An interactive to-do list with timestamp that can be very useful for your daily works and I will show you step by step how to prepare this from scratch. So keep watching without skipping and let's start. To start with, we will create a new sheet. We'll prepare a to-do list first. I'm taking the tasks from the earlier sheet. Well, these are my list of works. I'll prepare the environment. Let us provide the date of today with the, the today function. Here will be the task ID, the task description, the task status and here will be one timestamp. When we will check the status of the task as completed, the timestamp field will show the time of completing that task. It will be very interactive. Let us do the formattings. And here we will insert one icon. We will search for an hourglass. You can uh, provide any icon that you like. So we will check on it and insert. I like the Aptos Narrow font for the entire sheet. I am giving that font only. Let us do add some colors. Let us keep it white. The entire environment will be of some different color. Change the color of the icon as well to make it more visible. Let us increase the size of font of the date. To automate the task ID, we will provide one formula here. There will be an if to check whether task description is blank or not. If it is blank, the task ID also will be blank. And if the task description exists, that is, it's a non-blank cell, it will check what is the maximum serial number in the task ID column. We'll give one dollar to fix the top cell at one to the maximum number and we'll drag it to the last and you can see if you delete any of the cells from the task description column simultaneously the task id will also disappear and if you add one more task then automatically the task id will also generate now we will insert the most interesting thing that is the check boxes to check whether a task is complete or not for that, we need to go to the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab in the ribbon of your Excel, or just right click on the ribbon, click on customize the ribbon and just check this developer option from here and click on OK. Then go to insert and from here, click on the checkbox from the form controls. Draw one checkbox here, right click on it and go to edit text and delete label and click outside. Right click on it again, click on copy and go to the next cell and press Ctrl V to paste it. Do the same for all the subsequent cells in the same column. To change the position of any checkbox, you can right click on it to select it and then you can move it with your mouse as well as with the up, down, right and left arrow keys from your keyboard. These checkboxes are clickable, but it will not have any effect on any other object in your Excel sheet unless you do some more work. Now for each checkbox, we need to right click on it and click on format control. Go to the cell link and link one cell on your Excel sheet with this checkbox and simply hit enter. I'm giving a white color for this column so that the text is visible. Now, if you check on this, the text on the linked cell will be true. And if you uncheck it, the text in the linked cell will be false. So like this, you have to do for every checkbox and just keep on hitting enter.
Now before proceeding further, you should check once whether the cell linking is done properly and after clicking each checkbox, the text is displayed on the cell corresponding to the checkbox. Now you will add some conditional formatting based on the clicked status of the text box. And for that, we will select the tasks and go to conditional formatting and create a new rule. We will click on use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the formula will be the corresponding cell of the checkbox should be true equals to E4 or you can directly click from here also but you need to delete the dollar symbol from here it should be equals to true and the fill color will be this one and the font will be strike through regular and the color this one so click on ok click on ok once again all the tasks are now formatted based on that conditional formatting now you can see that there is a change if you click on any of the checkboxes corresponding to that the list is now getting formatted now we will show you how to give the timestamp you need to give one conditional formula with a simple if the formula will be if this cell the linked cell if it is true comma another nested if within same formula and this cell d4 it will check whether it is blank if it is blank it will put the timestamp with now function and if it is not blank then it will keep the same value that is already there it will prevent the now function to change the timestamp each time there is an interaction with this chart. You can try without keeping the outer if and you will see that the timestamp changes every time when you are clicking or changing the cell for any other task. And at last there will be a blank and will close the outer if statement. Hit enter, copy the formula from here, select all the cells, right click on it and click on paste formula now if you click any checkbox it will show one timestamp here but it is not showing any valid time and for that you need to select the sales and go to the number formatting and click on time now you can see there is a time next to the task that you have just completed and if you click on another one it will show the time of completing that task like this so your to-do list is now done but i want to add one more feature to this to-do list i want that if i complete any task or multiple tasks the balance task will be displayed in another pane just beside my to-do list so for that i need to do some formatting at first give it a bright color put the text as balance task list task id and task description nothing else is required let us change the color and do some formatting to display the balance tasks we need to use a filter function here equals to filter open we'll check the original array of tasks from here put one comma and we'll check which task is not completed so this will equals to false close the bracket and hit enter now you can see some zeros are uh, displayed here so we can go to file from there to options and go to advanced and from here scrolling down you can check this of show a zero in cells that have zero value and click on ok so now no zero value will be displayed to provide some error handling you can add one if error function outside the filter function so that if 
no value is returned it will not show any error statement so now to do list with a balanced task list feature is completely ready to so just hide this cell and start checking one by one the tasks that are completed and once you check any one task from your to-do list it will disappear from the balanced task list because that is completed so at any given point of time if you want to check what are the balanced tasks that you can see on the right hand side if you check all the tasks and mark them as completed your balanced task list will be empty if you have liked this video please share it with someone who also may like it and if you have not subscribed to our channel till now please subscribe thanks for watching